This podcast is sponsored by Eric's Concrete Pavers, Rock House Masonry, and Tahoe Pervious Pavements. When it rains, it drains. This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So you must not be too worried about gas prices. I am worried about gas prices. Oh, you are? Yeah. Because from, you're going to say this, aren't you? From what I just witnessed, you <laughs> have plenty of gas. I have to do it sometimes. <laughs> Why? You don't have to do it. Actually, I didn't witness it. You just witnessed it. No, I said because of what I just witnessed. Oh, just because sometimes I have to hear my farts on the microphone and it's funny. It's I probably lose listeners because of that, but whatever. <laughs> How is it funny? Did you not laugh? You said we. we I like dry heaved. <laughs> We play back the video. Kylie's face goes, what? Just like a gurgly fart in the microphone. It was. It was disgusting. I need to change my uh, cover here. Yeah. You, it's probably <laughs> like, does your mic stink? <laughs> it did a little bit for a Ew, second. Uh, <laughs> it's disgusting. not bad now, It's though. like you reverted back to like age 13 when you made the fart tape. I know. I, I could. I, I, I would like to make a whole episode like that. I would not like that. All and farts. And I don't think any listeners would l- like that I just either. eat a big pot of chili. Disgusting. My, my cousin and I used to eat crackers and water. Crackers and water used to make us fart, and we'd record them. Here's a question. Yeah. What doesn't make you fart? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but uh, last night we went out. and Oh, the boy. We went, we went out all night, and um, we did. that's probably why I have a little gas. <laughs> Is that why? Because you drank too much? You indulged too much? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I won't have to worry about gas. If I just Like my dad said, you just get a, you get a tube, and uh, you'll be able to fill up your car on your own. We don't, we don't need gas anymore. We'll just like you up to just a Human tube. gas, yeah. Okay. Just human gas power. Perfect. Car. But in a in all in all in all seriousness. Yes. I know we got a comedy podcast here. We do. But in all serious, last week I talked about my mom's chemical farts. Right. And I talked about Putin bombing with the chemical farts. But I mean that was before the war really escalated, and I misspoke. I think, and I meant to say, "Oh fuck, Putin." That's what I meant to say. Well, no, I think, and I don't. I, I, I don't, felt weird. I didn't know what I, I said. I don't remember on the exactly podcast, what you said, but I, I think so I knew where your war. your point of view was. So I don't know if I just like kind of knew what you're trying to say that it was like not to support Russia doing this, but to right. like I felt kind of bad. What, like, yeah, no, I think you. I don't know if you actually said it wrong because I just knew what you meant. Yeah, and I wanted to go to church today, to donate some money, but we were, we overslept. You did not make it to church. I know. I figured it, I'm not going to. I don't want to donate money to whatever thing, but I figured the Catholic Church you can donate and they'll put it in the right spots. Well, then give it to yeah. Just oh, I don't actually. <laughs> how am I supposed to know that? Right. <laughs> they got big lawyer bills, Catholics. Were you seriously? <laughs> got to pay all their lawyers off. But anyway, um, yeah, what's happening over there is just ridiculous. Oh, I, is. I feel I sick it. about it, and I just like. Uh, I can't believe it's still going on. The weekend passes, and, and here we go out drinking and eating. I'm oh glad I actually have no partying. idea what ha- has have been happening because no, I, because it's the weekend. Yeah, and we're here. You know, we're here indulging in those people over right. there. Those poor people. I even feel bad for the Russian people. Yeah, I mean, because nobody wants a war. And they don't like, want that. No, you know, the, the, there's the, half of their family members are in Ukraine or, yeah. or relatives or whatever. You know, they used to be part of Russia, so it's just kind of crazy. And and I understand why the U.S. isn't. Going in and, and bombing yeah. and helping, but in all reality, maybe we should just get everybody well, I mean, get like, together yeah, and just bomb this, the shit out of them. But then, go on for. yeah, they're worried about a nuclear bomb and everything right. like that. You know, they would call my mom well, left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, her phone's blown up. <laughs> the nu- they didn't, didn't, <laughs> she's high request. It's, it's, it's like your Diane. We need to be mad about you we, for talking yeah, about that. We need your help. Actually, I could actually <laughs> what I just did in this microphone. I could join her. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need we need to fly you in. We need, you know, all you just do with, with Putin, if he threatens nuclear, you just threaten him with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you really want to go there? Right. Do you have it's bad, though. Good gas masks? Yeah. You need a very good gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Lord. um, But, yeah, gas prices are going to go um, up oh. high unless we start, unless I we start, know. you know, make, getting the oil from here, which hopefully we will. Oh, it's still going to take a while. Yeah. Pine nuts are 42 fucking bucks a bag. Yeah, why are pine nuts so expensive? Why are pine nuts expensive? Does, does people out there know that pine like we I Kylie don't know. and I are big advocators of pine nuts? Advocators, we eat pine nuts a lot. And we eat pine nuts too. <laughs> yeah. We 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 um, really like we, them in salads. We roast them. We roast them on the gr- grill. Uh, nope, we roast them in a pan in on a the pan stove. In a pan on the stove <laughs> for our salads. <laughs> and that's my job of cooking is to make the nuts. Right. 
And I was like, eat the nuts the whole time, too. Right. I eat them as they're cooking. And we haven't had pine nuts. Well, one Costco hasn't had them. Yeah, the big bag of pine nuts. And then they finally had a. Well, I thought they had them, and it was like 40 bucks. It used to be 25 Yeah, we didn't really. And yeah. they didn't and have them, actually, it, though. In all retrospect, when you when you get nuts at you know Costco, when you go, God, pine nuts are 25 bucks. Those are expens- expensive they're nuts. Expensive but they're expensive anyways. But yeah. they're really good. But now they're 42 40. Is there a shortage of pine nuts? There's something, because there's like, I cannot get pine nuts. There's not a shortage of pine but You know what? I just had a thought. What? I, actually, I just had a thought just what? now. This scares me. Maybe they don't have as many pine nuts because of all the forest fires. Oh, shit salad. And they can't get the nuts. Maybe. But I, I don't know. Could be. Does it ever smell like t- roasting nuts during a forest fire? I don't know. Probably not because there's a lot of things burning. But I know. Could be like, oh. Nuts are good, though. <laughs> that was a pine tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you, when you get the smoke comes in, it yeah, smells like, like roasted oh. nuts instead of, <laughs> instead of smoke. Probably not. Those but forest, fire, forest fires last year were bad. I know. I mean, it was that was bad. that was that was horrible. We we drove through. We we were going to um, driving to Sacramento. We drove through that town, Green Greenland, Greenville, Greenville, Greenville that burnt down. Oh, and we drove there like two in the morning in a snowstorm. And it smelled like burnt. Oh, it still smelled like burning. Like burnt timbers. There it did. Still. Yeah, that was sad. I know that was crazy, oh. but I I don't know what's going on with the pine nut shortage. I don't know either, but I like some pine nuts. Back. Yeah, gas and pine nuts. Those are the two products that are really going crazy right now. I know. It's weird. <laughs> the pine nuts is just weird, but that's just one that we notice that I affects know. that just that affects our dinners, uh, our affects, salads, affects our life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny and 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 uh, we we've seen a couple different couples now out. Okay, well, first of all, we don't, haven't seen a couple. We are our favorite thing about going out to dinner is to watch the people around us. Yeah, we've seen a couple different couples. And I'm going right. to recap so real quick it, so you remember because you don't know what I'm talking about. The sock hat guy and then the crappy couple oh. at BJ. So it's a couple different couples. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just I'm clarifying that when we go out to dinner, we like to people watch. Or actually, when we go anywhere, we like to people watch. Yeah, we went to BJ's. I don't know what night we went to BJ's. Like you know, BJ's Sunday. Brewery. And yeah, we just yeah we just said we let's go out. We had no food. We I never had go not grocery shop. I think we never go out on Sunday night. We like don't. <laughs> like, but I don't. Yeah. We went skiing, and was, so we didn't cut. We didn't go to the store, so we had like no food for dinner. Yeah, Kylie was hip. Hip was hurting, so I felt bad for her. So I took her out to BJ's. Didn't have really walk on Sunday. I didn't even see you. You ate shit every time we ski. You eat shit, and I, and I never see you fall. I just look up the hill, and you're putting yourself together. <laughs> I know. I was so busy singing cold, <sighs> cold hot. God, I wish I had that on video. Anyways, back to the couples. Yeah. <laughs> you got that check. Don't remember what you're talking about. Well, I, I know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're in BJ's, and there's these two, this couple, and Kylie and I, you know, we're not, you know, we're, I'm, I'm sure people watch us and think we're stupid. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. But we like each other. You know, we talk, you know. Yeah, we talk. We'll we like socialize. Hold our hands we don't go on our phone. Well, actually, Kylie goes on her phone. I, I do talk. when I for like fun. If I'm like trying to figure out what it, what it is, like what is this, then I'll find the. Yeah, answer. in a relationship, there's always a dumb what? person, me, <laughs> and always a person that's searching for facts. Kylie <laughs> on her phone because I, I like say something, and she facts. goes no and looks it up on her phone. I right. go, come on. I right. I do like to prove people wrong if I know I'm right. Right. I'd rather you just not go on your phone and, and just so say I'm if right. If I don't know the answer, sometimes I like to know the answer then. Right. I like to continually get smarter and grow. Yeah, and you also you also you're kind of like a man. Hi. You're kind of like a man because when I'm sick or anything and I've <laughs> had this cold and a sore throat ever for this whole week. Right. You just try to give me solution after solution. All yeah, I want you to do is I listen do. to my problems. I do listen like, to your problems. Like, I'm the woman, and you're the man. Just listen. I don't want I a solution. I do listen. I just want you How to say nothing. How long do I have nothing. to listen to the same problem, though? I just want you to say nothing. How long do I have to listen to the same problem? For weeks on end. That's you, yeah. depressing. But it, it's like, all I want you to do is listen and just give me a sympathy nod, not tell me how to fix it. I'm going to try That's that That's like theory. what men do. And what you're you, going to be like, what do I do? What? And, but, like, I don't know. You told me to stop solving it. Right. But I want to, I want to, you gave me all this advice. Yeah, and that you didn't take. Right. Because I just wanted you to listen to me. If you listen, I'll get better. You won't. All you do is I need to listen okay. and I will. <laughs> I've been listening all week. Listen to me bitch and moan. So I am, I'm like the woman and you're like the man. Yeah. That's I guess sad. So. <laughs> That's sad for who? If, imagine if I got a period. <laughs> oh my god! It'd be horrible. horrible. It'd be totally horrible. You would complain so bad. Yeah, I would probably think I'm dying every time. Every month, you'd yeah. Be every dying. month, I'd be dying going to the doctor. S- yes, I'm bleeding. Why does it hurt so bad? <laughs> Why is my chest tender? 
What does that mean? Chest tender. My boobs get sore. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't complain about TMI. it. TMI. <laughs> no one needs to hear that. <laughs> and do you, do I complain about it? Nope. Well, I'll tell you that couple we were watching at BJ's. <laughs> she was on her period or something. <laughs> <I> but <don't> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> first, they're both on their phones, staring straight at the, like. Were they even on their phones? No, it was the other couple next to us. They were a little older. They were both on their phones that I find found weird. Yeah, but I'm talking about these other two. I don't think were they were on their phones. Yeah, they were. Oh, they were staring like the golf tournament that was on. Yeah, but they're both on their phones. Then they put their phones down. They stare at a go- old golf tournament they're not even interested in, not talking to not each other. Not talking to each other. I've seen couples. There's this couple that went to Austin's up in Incline. All, they used to always be in there all the time. They go in there, they order, and they would both be reading their books. Oh. That's kind of odd. I mean, if they like, I mean, if they both like to read, I guess. I guess if they both want to do that, maybe yeah. they just do that at home. They don't talk. But I think That's it's fine. healthier for couples to talk, I right? Mean, I would say yes. Right. Communication is like the key to everything. That's true. Yeah. That's why I talk a lot. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> I mostly just talk to irritate you. But you do know that when, when the communication is talking and listening, it's like a... What? Yeah, it's like it goes both ways. What'd you say? <laughs> so you're also supposed to listen you. to the other person talk. No, you're not. <laughs> Ask my mom. No, you're not. Think so my dad listened to my mom? From the person that has a master's degree in this, you're going to tell me I'm wrong? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I just know things. When it comes to talking. Sometimes they just know things. Yeah, when it comes to talking, that's what I, that's, I, that's uh, what I know about. Right. I, my when mom's it comes to me. relationship communication, you're really good at it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because your track record? Your track record is you're very, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, yeah, whatever right. I just said in the last <laughs> last 20 minutes, uh, just forget it. I'm, I'm just full of shit. Just strike that from the record. I'm full of shit. Right. You made a good point, Keeks. <laughs> I think everyone knows you're full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> So I love you. What? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, so that couple. So okay. you, can, you can really tell a lot with that with that couple. But Ooh, man, yeah. when they got their food and something was wrong with her food, Ooh. she glared. She didn't get mad. She didn't really. She get mad at the waitress. She got mad at him. She got mad at him. Like it's this his poor fault. fucking bastard. <laughs> and then he put his salad up. He, he wanted waited. To eat. For he her. waited yeah. for her, to which eat. was real nice. I would have said, "Eat it. You have it." Yeah, I would have said, well, she Well, you wouldn't like, have been able to, you would never have done that for me. You would have been like, well, I'm hungry. I need to Well, eat I said it. you can have a bite of mine while you're waiting. <laughs> I'm hungry. I got to eat. Like, I'm always, I'm always jonesing you, for food. I have a question. Did what? you know that it's etiquette at a table to not start eating till everybody has their food? Did you know that? Um, I kind of did, yeah. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Anyways. I don't do that, though. But <laughs> I say, hey, if I was the only one and the other people didn't get theirs and there was one more person, you know, I just kind of. Oh, okay. Kind of wait. But you would always say, no, just start eating. That's I fine. would. Yeah. I would say that. I would sell everybody to start eating before. So who knows? But we, um, um, the other couple we were talking about, we were watching, was a sock hat guy. I know. I was it's so weird. So we were, went to a steakhouse, and I actually did have like a, a kind of hat. We went to the Tamarack Steakhouse. Let's get a sponsor here. Maybe, right. maybe they'll sponsor us. Um, what, kind of, what would you call the hat? Like a ranch? I don't, what do you call those hats? Not a fedora. His hat? My hat. Indiana Jones hat. I kind of, yeah. That's what I call And it. I was even a little like, oh, should I like wear this to like a steakhouse? But it was like not like a baseball, it was, you know, like a fashionable hat. So I was like, oh, it'll be okay. Yeah, it looked good. What, what, what? So I was like self conscious or like really oh, thought yeah, about wearing, wearing a, hat. a hat to do a steakhouse. Right. This guy rolls in with a beanie on. Yeah, he has a beanie sock hat. And he's with this lady. They're basically not really talking, but my mom gets up and goes <laughs> to the bathroom. And she she cracks a little joke as she goes by their table because they were sitting by the the there screen like ex- a, exit, yeah. and they didn't just looked at her and just like stared at her with this. So my mom gets she gets so mad when like people don't, don't acknowledge laugh her. At her yes. So she's like, look at that guy in his she wouldn't sock let it go. Hat. She and went on like, for like a look good at him. Five she kept minutes. staring at him. she's like staring the guy down like ready yes. for a fight. I think yes, the guy was, was getting pissed. Well, I think he could hear her because he looked up at our table and I was like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, and then when he went to the bathroom, we were like, leaving. glared at your mom. He glared at my mom, and then I'm like, oh my god, this guy's gonna start. She's like, look at right. Why does he have a sock hat on? He must be bald. bald. He must be bald. Yeah. <laughs> Why he wears a sock hat? Look at the girl he's with. She's gonna like him. She would not let it go. Yeah, he was. She was going off on she this did guy. She's not like that guy. But yeah, the guy did look. I mean, he he didn't look like the friendliest of guys. Either. He didn't look very friendly. And the girl did not look happy. They, no, she it looked didn't like they were look on either. a date or something too. But actually, why would you wear a sock hat if you're on a date? Any kind of date, like right, unless you're going to BJ's Brewery. I mean, Joking. yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you could. But no, this was like a, a you know. It's a, it's a nice steak, restaurant. Yeah. yeah, a nice restaurant. It's like steakhouse type place. But um, 
you know, but that that just, you know, I think anybody that couples out there, if if they don't, it's weird how they don't like each other and they go out and then they, like, these couples like each other is what I'm saying, but then they go out, they have their same home pattern and they bring it out to the restaurant too. I know. Which then I wonder, like, how is this this couple, like, functioning? Right. How are they functioning in life? Right. Like, they're not happy. You don't look happy. Yeah. So I think you need to laugh with your spouse. Oh, heck yeah. And I think you need to. Look at what we do every week to laugh. I think think once in a while you need to fart in a mic in front of them. Oh, no. Every once. (laughs) Good Lord. (laughs) When I first met Kylie, I would run to the other room (laughs) and get gas pains and. Like spread my <laughs> spread my butt cheeks and and make the fart for no sound or flush the toilet as the fart's coming out or go in the shower or something and fart. So Why, I didn't let oh, a fart in front of her. There's like so many techniques you just tried. like that. Not one technique, like ten you just said. The biggest of how one to is, not fart. The biggest fart one, if you got it, like you're just in a relationship, right? <laughs> and your 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 stomach's gurgling and you got major gas pains and you're like, oh my god, you're getting sitting down and ready to watch a movie. Let's oh. just say. You're like, oh, my God. So you go to the bathroom. Best thing is always just turn on the fan, but then you don't want to do that because then they think, oh, my God, he's shitting. the fan. So you can't do that. So either you time it where you flush the toilet (laughs) as you let the fart out and it's loud. So you do that. (laughs) Or what you do, and this is gross, you want me to say, Kylie. (laughs) I'm to you. (laughs) You you bend over and you (laughs) spread your butt cheeks so far apart that it kind of opens the hole a little bit. And it makes no sound, and, it <laughs> and just like a gas leak. How come you don't do those anymore? Like, can you bring that back? Because you like it. <laughs> now you like it. When I fart, you like it. Oh. You should see in the video. I farted in the microphone, and Kylie. <laughs> did her I fa- like it for you, say? You, did you not laugh? I did. <laughs> did you not laugh? Or you're waiting for you fall off the chair because I had to stand that on the also, chair. That also, yes. You know to do it. <laughs> do, you, do you know um um who else might like to fart in microphones? Likes to fart microphones. Mr. Joe. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. You want a custom home from a Southern California premier home builder? Call me, Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. 310-465-3347. Joe would laugh, though. At what? Are you farting yeah, in a microphone? Oh, laugh. good Lord. I don't think he would I think do it's that. like a guy thing. Girls aren't going to sit there and I fart in microphones. I don't, no one wants to see a girl do that. Right. Yeah, it's very immature. Well, you said it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very immature. Uh, folks, don't don't try that at home. It's very <laughs> dangerous standing on a chair. Well, you could have moved the microphone to you, by the way. It does have, like, the ability to move. I should get a separate mic hooked up here. You just should in not. Case. No, you just should not. In case I got one nope. during the show. You don't need to do that. I know. It's gross. I'm going to stop. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking about farting. You're not. And pooping. You're not. Do you know what's funny when we were out at BJ's what? last week? No. Was there was a beer called oh my God. <laughs> Kilt, uh, Kilt Lifter Beer. Kilt Lifter. That's, cr- that's a good name. <laughs> I know. I loved it. I like that. Yeah, I'll have the Kilt Lifter. <laughs> You know who like Dan, the podcast guy would like that that he beer. Would, like probably. I mean, because like kilt lifter, name, yeah. yeah, Irish name, kilt lifter beer. It'd be really funny. <laughs> what if you know how they have the spigots and the tabs of the beer? Spig- oh yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I mean what, what do they call that? We tap tap a beer and you have the so, handle. Yeah. They should have a kilt that lifts up like, and then it, and it's like <laughs> it's kind of like the dick around there, you know, and you pull the so handle. So it's almost like it has like a Barbie skirt on it. Yeah, that's what I think of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you pull the kilt. <laughs> I mean, that'd be a really good idea. That would be great marketing. Yeah, but you know, you have the Corona has their thing. The, and, and they have those Modelo little. Modelo has their thing. Well, on they there. have those little like ponchos at, yeah. at Cinco de Mayo. We right. have a few. Right, but the kilt lifter would be like a little, a little skirt yeah. on the thing. I just thought of that. <laughs> now I, don't know. I mean, it's a mar- marketing genius right there. Oh, yes, a marketing <laughs> genius you are. <laughs> you know, those, those, I, I can't get off these stupid couples. The. the 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 two couples that weren't talking to each other or anything. Yeah, I heard a thing on the radio, and I I haven't told you anything no, about you this. No, not. Um, there's a you know girl has to get their wedding dresses right. Right. And it takes us back to the um you went to the baby shower, but we were right. talking about wedding showers and stuff like that. Yeah. So you get a wedding dress that costs a lot of money. Right. You never wear. And again. they never wear again. You dry <laughs> clean it, put it in a box, give yep. it to your daughter, mm-hmm. whatever. This lady said, "No, I'm not going to do that. On every anniversary, I'll wear my wedding dress out." Oh. So I don't know what anniversary they're they're on yet or whatever, but she wears her dress and you know they go out like bowling. 
or they'll dress? yeah, or they'll go out you know just on their anniversary or they'll oh. go out just to like a regular dinner yeah. and stuff and they stay out in it all night. All right. And then people say stuff and either they tell them a story or they don't say nothing or they. Um, um, the one thing is a lot of times they get like their meals comped. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, but the biggest thing they said is. It's always a goal, so she can always fit. I was into just her gonna say dress. that. Yeah, because her mind's too big for me now, so I'd have to get it altered. Or you just get fatter. No, no, no. Oh, the fit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you go the other way, it's different. But she says at least every year, I know I is a goal. I got to get in that wedding dress and Ooh. fit into the wedding mm-hmm. dress. But it's her tradition, and she says it actually spices up their year of marriage. Oh. Okay. And yeah, and it's just like it doesn't feel like the wedding night, but it's it's really fun. So they. They just do that every year. Do you want to start sh- doing that, honey? I mean, it seems kind of fun. That we that would require. I mean, we might have to stay in town then because I don't want to pack that thing around. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think I'm sure they just stay in town. Yeah. And she says, then they just get you know, it, it's you know, gets all messed up on the bottom and everything. Right. But just, I don't know if they dry clean or whatever, but it's kind of funny. That and is kind of that's kind of like a creative way to like yeah. yeah. And we'll spice things up with your Use marriage your or whatever. Again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and these go around people, congratulations. Right. Oh, it reminds you know, of a traditional you're in Los wedding Compadres dress, to so sit in your not. wedding dress, you know. You go to Los Compadres. Well, I mean, yeah, you could. You gotta whatever. go to, like, at least a steakhouse. Come on. I don't I really go, I really go to those Mexican food than a steakhouse. Blow in the In-N-Out drive through Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> but I think that's pretty cool. I, I like, that is. I, I like that idea. The story was good, and it, it kept going on. Oh, I know where I heard the story, and you're going to die. Where? I'm trying to think if it was one of the. Oh, no, it was Dr. Laura. Oh, love Dr. Laura. I was going I was on Channel 111 Sirius. Yeah. It goes into Dr. Laura. So I yes. I don't really go to Dr. Laura, but if right. it's on, I start listening. Yes. And she, she, this, someone wrote in. Oh, yeah. And uh, told her there a little. Dr. Laura just loved it. She's, oh. <laughs> well, she likes when like couples are like, what is it that like a book like feeding husbands or something? Yeah. I, I listened to that on audiobook. You before. did? Yeah. Oh. I did. Because. You didn't have any helpful tips for me? I'm just so good at being a, your wife that it doesn't matter. Um, every good. everything they said in that book, I already do. <laughs> it's fine. Isn't it for the wife? Oh yeah, everything <laughs> they said. <in> the <laughs> 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 everything they said in the book. Uh, I'm good at. You kind of do, I guess. Oh, you're like I don't even actually remember what it said. So. <laughs> yeah. I can't totally remember what it said, but I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, um, basically that that book is it takes two. It does. Yeah, it takes two to mingle. And, and communicate. And communicate. <laughs> what? Why do you keep saying that word communicate? I don't know. It's word of the day. I pride myself on communication. You do? You you shouldn't. Yeah, that's why we do this podcast. This, this is probably this the is most communication, the best, not the most, the best communication because you actually have to listen to me. Right. Right. And it's funny, when we first started the podcast, me and you, we realized that- we You don't listen. We, well, and both of us, I mean, you, you're a way better listener, oh, but yeah. we both need to listen to each other. And um, I think that's what we do. This has really turned into a couples podcast. It is a, always been I a like couples it. podcast. Whole, honey. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, to inspire other. Co- hold my <laughs> hand. Inspire. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Look at this, folks. <laughs> hold my. We're eight hand. feet apart, man. Right, I can barely. This is hold our your problem. Hand. You know, know, when we get the new studio, we're going to be sitting right next to each other. Right. No, actually, like you just sit on my lap. Oh, okay. You sit on my lap, and then. Uh, We'll get you a cordless mic. Oh, I want a headset. And our headset mic, but we get every time we want a headset mic, we get turned down. Everybody, I no, know. you don't want one of those. You don't want one of those. But um, we see them I out know. there. I've I, been pretty good on my mic lately, though. So, yeah, you have been. I know. But anyway, yeah. So p- people out there, if you want to wear your wedding dress and go out and um, all that kind of stuff, that that's that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would. I, I could have worn my wedding dress last night. Why? Could have. It's not an anniversary. I know, but we oh, wore okay. fa- we were fancy last night. Oh, I see. But when you get when you're when you're when you when you get a sixth sense for your spouse, <laughs> where are you going with this? I'm going to say when you're with your spouse long enough, and you get a sixth sense for your spouse. Like I have a sixth sense with Kylie. That's because guess what? It's been a decade officially right. now. But for some reason, whenever I can't find her, oh my god, she's always in the bathroom. No. I swear to God, I can do anything. I can go do laundry by myself, do all this stuff. You just watch TV, whatever you do. You don't give a shit. 
But literally the second I go to go to the bathroom, you find like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, it's like that movie, Sixth Sense. <laughs> like, I see dead people. I sense dead people. <laughs> so I'm always like I'm always like uh, Kylie, where are you at? She's like, You're kidding me. I was just with you. Why do you ask me where I'm at now? <laughs> or like I'll be like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Like and I've been with you the whole time and I'm like going to the bathroom. And I'll say I'm going to the bathroom that you obviously don't know. Yeah, and I actually either. get mad. I know. I go, what, You're the one that's why following you, me. Yeah, why are you always shitting? That's what I'm, I'm not. Why are you always <laughs> shitting? It's like I'm not. It's just when you want me. For some reason, it, yeah. I, I don't think it's the sixth sense, actually. I think it's just I follow you around <laughs> every second. Not always, because I'll, like, fold laundry and stuff, and you don't give a shit. Right, but then when I – because when I need you, I need you. And I don't, don't, <laughs> when I need you, don't be going to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, I can't really control that sometimes. Listen, and then uh, and usually like I'm in the bathroom. Ah, forget it then. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not talking to you anymore. Well, I've, I've, oh, ow. <laughs> bang my head on the bang my head on the uh, on a thing. If I get um uh um, what was I gonna say? I don't know, Kylie. I just I lost my thought. I, I banged my head on the mic so hard I, I forgot what <laughs> I was going to say. Um, yeah. If you have a sixth sense about anything, though, it's going to be with like farts or shit. So yeah, I think sense. so. That that's my uh, it's my blessing and my curse. Uh, I think it is. <laughs> you know what else would be my curse? I do not. That I was going to drag your ass to this weekend. What? And we couldn't go because we went to the party with Mark and Mel. What? Um. George Michael reborn. Oh my God. <laughs> I kept driving. And those those of you that listen from Incline or whatever, <laughs> I drive by the Crystal Bay Club. There was a sign that said George Michael reborn Saturday night. I think uh, it's a, a Michael or a George Michael uh, obviously impersonator. It is. I kind of wanted to go. <laughs> I've never really wanted to go to the Crystal Bay Club and see anybody, but that I wanted to go to. Shoot. I'm so sad we missed it. And we didn't get because I got to have faith. faith oh boy. Faith. Yeah. It would have been good. Would it have? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, we'll never know. Life with Eric podcast is brought to you by Petrilla Concrete Construction and doTERRA Essential Oils. From You get those from Aislinn Mueller at This Essential Life is Her Handle. Yes. I need a little essential oil on my microphone here. Ew, you do. I should have. I should have sprayed some <laughs> on guard on that thing. <laughs> on guard. No, that's what it's called. <laughs> like a little, the little, sp- a little A little lavender. What was I, put, what was I putting on my chafing? Lavender or something? Lavender. Yeah, I need and a little put, lavender on my microphone. We put a little tea tree oil on your on your athlete's toe. Oh, that crazy actually worked. <laughs> I know. I didn't think I, I always say this is bullshit, these essential oils, but sometimes they sometimes do work. Sometimes they do work. I think most of the time. I think for like skin stuff they really work. That's it pretty much all we use them for. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We I don't know. We have so much of it, I don't have right. no idea. But we buy it because we get it from our sister. Right. <laughs> Anybody wants a hat, I got one more hat. Ooh. Look at these hats, folks. I got them on my head. One more. If you want, just call in. I'll give it to you. Oh. Yeah. We had lots of stuff uh, last week, social media, where we're starting to gain more followers on social media, <gasps> doing some stuff, which is really good. That um, is good. I, we had this, this one this one guy, Mikey, commented on our social, me- social media, and I, th- I thought it was funny. He goes, you're drinking while you're podcasting? Yes. What? Like, wait, what? Yep. <laughs> I thought just that a was little. Funny. Today like, it's a soda day. Drink. Yeah, it's a little. Uh, <laughs> we're moving a little slow today, folks. It's a sprite actually, day for me. I can't me. believe we're actually pulling this <laughs> off today. <laughs> I, for a little bit today, didn't think you were gonna be able to do it because you literally slept the afternoon away. I know. From like noon to six. Yeah, and to do this, you got to power up and get some. So energy. I was like, oh, and I didn't want to like push you if you didn't like feel good. So I was like, maybe we could bust it out we're tomorrow con- if we have to. No, we're consistent, folks. We but do it. You woke up and rallied. Yep. I got an email from uh, Rob about the bumper dumper. It's official news. It's a <laughs> toilet that atta- is a. To- and we talked about it last week a little bit. It's a toilet that attaches to your bumper. But he sent me an email. Or, um, he sent me a, a link to the website. Oh, okay. And they actually shoot a tutorial video. Oh, wait, how do you shoot a tutorial? Someone showed how to use how it. How to shit in a bucket? Yeah. <laughs> how, why do you need someone to tell you that? Show no, you that. That you slide just to show you how to slide it in the hitch. <laughs> attach the toilet part. You can get a you can get a, a toilet paper dispenser thing Stop to hook it. on the thing on the side. It's extra. You gotta pay extra for that. No. And I, and I, I can't, oh, it's eighty nine ninety five for this thing. And after I watched the tutorial. You want one? Everybody should have one. <laughs> you can attach you, 
Oh. You, you basically attach the toilet seat to your bumper, right? And, and there's nothing under it. So you can hook a plastic bag God. under it, like a hefty bag or whatever, oh. or a trash, trash bag. Yeah. Or you can do a five-gallon bucket, put the bag in, fold it, and attach it. And basically, you, you just sit there and dump on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can sit on the ground, too. You can put the five-gallon bucket on the ground and put the toilet seat on there, too. <laughs> but it's actually not a bad idea. Are you going to get one? I mean, one? it's comfort. Instead of squatting by a tree... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could actually sit down. But the only problem is you have to have, like, a truck to carry right. it in or whatever, too. Right, because you're not going to throw your shit bucket in the back yeah. of your... My mom should definitely have one of these. <laughs> when they, like, drive to, they drive to Arizona all the time. Does she have to pull over on the side of the road and poop? Yeah, but it would actually be better to use one of these than go into, like, a gas station. I mean, I'm I need serious. them for, like... Oh, I just pee on the side of the road. Just no, but you, this is not for peeing. Oh. I mean, you could use it for peeing, I guess. But it would be funny if you just... Did, if you just oh did the bumper God. dumper, but you didn't put the bucket or bag underneath it, you just dumped onto the ground. But you didn't have, but you no. wouldn't have to squat. You know what I mean? You could sit Stop on the comfort it. of a seat. But aren't you just like shooting on your hitch then? <laughs> possibly. <laughs> but it's Shoe, pretty. In, it's possibly pretty in, on your shoes. No, it's pretty ingenious though. Like if you're. I on, mean, I get you know, it. It is. You're a truck driver. Obviously, or there's a need for them because they they sell them. They sell them. <laughs> yeah. I never knew. And I thing. have a feeling you're gonna get one. When I run into Rob, I wonder if he has one. Oh, why does he know about yeah, it? But you know, you know what I'm saying. When you rather sit on a seat of your, you know, it's clean and everything else, than go into a gas station I, uh, bathroom and take a shit. Right, but I also do not often shit in a gas station. Right, but you, you might use the bumper dumper. Maybe I mean next road trip we should just get one. When we go down to Newport, we'll get we're one. We have a bumper dumper. Okay, great. Yeah, I guarantee the kids will be like, uh, I gotta go. Okay. Ew. I would actually rather do that. Ew. Then go into a gross gas station, the scummy freaking gas station. How many times do you station? shit in a gas station on a road trip? Actually, I shouldn't even ask that of you. You probably do. I have. <laughs> and I don't want to sit on those. How many times do you go into a gas station and you go in, I mean, you you, 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 you go, you know, I just thought of the funniest story. <laughs> oh, no. It's kind of funny, but. It scares me. Um, you know, okay, if you go into a, a dirty gas station, and it's, it's, it's scummy on the toilets. Yeah. And, and Poop splatter, right. and you're just like you just like you know throwing up and going right. there or not. Uh. But you could do what my son Tanner did one time. Oh, no. I was like nine years old. <laughs> we're in the hacienda <laughs> in Incline, and we're coming from a baseball game. He's gone forever. I'm gonna make this quick. Yes. And so I, I he's gone, gone, gone. What's he doing? What's he doing? So I finally went into the bathroom, and he's he's like washing his hands. So I go into the stall, and I look, and you know how where you flush the toilet. <laughs> the 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 the, yeah. the s- stainless steel stem yes. where you grab the, f- the there's a turd sitting on top of that pipe, a turd just folded <laughs> over the pipe like a freaking eight incher. Good lord. Yeah, and I go, what's it, Tanner? What is that? What happened? He basically didn't want to sit on the seat, so he st- <laughs> stood on the seat with his feet and squatted down, but he missed the toilet. And it landed on the oh handle thing. God. Why didn't he put it in the toilet? Well, he's seven or eight years old. He just gets the hell out of there. So I'm like, oh, my God. And I know the manager, Scott, at the Hacienda. <laughs> so yeah, I can't leave and it. And right when I'm taking the turd and plopping in there, Scott comes into the bathroom. Oh, my God. he's, like, God. taking a piss. I'm like, oh, hey, hey how's it going? Yeah, what's it going there? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Have you ever seen her or anything like nope. that? Nope. I'm like, Tanner, were you wondering when it didn't drop in the hole, the toilet just landed on the – how did it land on that perfect – like, I don't <laughs> even know how that happened, but – <laughs> he needed a dumper, a bumper dumper. Tanner, yep, we needed a bumper dumper out in the parking lot. Tanner had another funny one. Oh uh, no! Uh, yeah, he went. I was took him. I used to when he was little. He's always be going to work with me every second, and, and uh, he's probably like seven years old. I took him to this house on a Saturday in Sparks, and w- I I never do stuff in Sparks. Is way out, and you know. So we went to the meeting. The people we go into the house, and people pull up the plans, and we're looking at him. Tanner has to go to the bathroom. So he goes, I thought he had to go pee. Dad, dad, dad. dad. I got to go. So the lady goes, oh, he can use our bathroom, this older lady. He goes in there. He locks the door. He's in there forever. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm like, oh, my God. What the fuck is going on? Like, Excuse so me. finally I knock. Tanner, 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 Tanner. I go in there. He has a turd that will not go down the hole of the toilet. It's huge. I'm thinking, Ew. oh, my God. We're going to. Uh, we're going to. Um, um, clog their toilet. Clog their toilet. And what am I going to do? And it stunk so bad in the bathroom. I was dying. So I'm looking for matches or spray. Nothing. Oh. I don't know these people. I've known them for like one second. You right. know, we've been in their house. And I'm, I'm flushing the toilet, just holding it down, praying that it goes down. And uh, I'm like, ah, oh, Tanner, you know. So we you know, so we go out, and I just shut the door, and we go out into the living room and everything else, and it stunk really bad. And no one really noticed or whatever, you know. And then we leave and get in the car, and I'm like, Tanner, oh, my God, it stunk so bad. 
I'm like, oh, you know, all this stuff. So we're driving away, and Tanner's like, oh, hey, Dad. Um, uh, yeah. He's like, I don't think you're going to get that job. <laughs> <laughs> did you get that no, job? No, I did not. <laughs> well, I think he's safe to say he's related to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Let's hear a word from one of our sponsors. Mm. Let's change the subject. <laughs> well, <laughs> He sent me the info on the bumper. Oh, okay. (laughs) This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by G&E Painting and Drywall, servicing Reno, Tahoe, and Truckee areas for over 25 years. Call G&E today for all of your painting and drywall needs. Thanks, G&E Painting. Thanks, G&E Painting. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Tanner Tanner probably hear this and go, what the heck? Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. I always tell those stories because they're so funny. Yes, everyone loves poop stories. Right. One of the other things, the last thing on our, um, um, people were talking about our, our, our podcast, and we were talking about it with my parents, actually, and I was saying that dogs don't have butt cheeks, because they don't. Dogs don't have butt cheeks. Do elephants have butt cheeks? I don't think so, no. Are you sure? Pretty when I sure. picture an elephant butt, it has cheeks on it. Doesn't, it doesn't, no. Does any animals have butt cheeks? No. Well, monkeys, do they? Gorillas? They might. If anybody knows this answer, please <laughs> give it to me. Cause I don't we, think yeah. elephants have butt cheeks. They don't. Apparently, people thought it was really funny that I said dogs have, have butt cheeks, th- but I guess cats they don't. Cats don't have butt cheeks. Like, I don't think many animals have butt cheeks. Just humans. Yeah. And, like, apes and we're, monkeys yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So we're, 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 uh, but I feel like only some of those, some of those monkeys have butt cheeks. Remember those, those one monkeys that have, like, a blue butt cheeks? A blue gorilla? <laughs> razorback, a razorback gorilla. Maybe <laughs> they, might, they might have butt cheeks, but yeah, people thought that was really funny too. <laughs> I know because <laughs> I, I so never thought, thought about you thought that. You, so you thought Tinka had butt cheeks? I don't know. I never. I, I actually did think Tinka had butt cheeks, <laughs> but it's like from the outside, <laughs> not like I don't know. I don't know. Oh good lord! We haven't had a dog now for a few months, so I, I forgot. I, I guess I I forgot, but you yeah. You know what a dog anatomy is? Right, but people like <laughs> people think that's really funny. I guess. <laughs> The next dog we get, I want a dog with butt cheeks. Well, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get that. Always <laughs> out your way, then we can't get a dog if we th- can't get one with butt cheeks. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's get a Razorback Gorilla. Oh, that sounds lovely. Why not? Pretty sure you can't have those in your home. <laughs> and they might kill you in your sleep. What? A gorilla. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Sleep in the bed with you. Oh my god! It's between like it's us, it's bigger than you. Yeah, it'd be between us sleeping yeah. in the bed. Yeah, we raise it from a, we raise it from little. It'd be used to you. Okay, I don't. I'm good without that. <laughs> I'll just take a dog. Hairy little kid. It's like a <laughs> hairy little gorilla kid. I'll just take a dog. Thank you. Oh, yeah. A dog with butt cheeks. Okay. We got a lot to talk about next week podcast because we, we left a lot of stuff out of this week's podcast. Did we? So <laughs> yeah, we just got we got on a on a on a. On a I rant. know we didn't even we're like talk about our fun evening. Yeah, next week we're going to talk about the uh, uh, fun evening party that we went to. <laughs> we're going to talk about how Kylie lost her cell phone and oh. burst it into the <laughs> men's restroom after it like a maniac. But um, anyway, Kiki, <laughs> it's that time. Bedtime. Last call. <laughs> Bedtime. Yeah. Who you cheers on the day, well, see, it slightly ruins my cheers then because your, no, it doesn't. Cheers I was going to you cheers want. to Mark and Mel. We'll still cheers them. Maybe we'll cheers them next week too. Taking us on this adventure we went on last night with them. Yeah, filled to the gala. With, uh, yes, fundraising gala for their kids' school. To the gala, uh, filled with booze and lots of laughter. Mm-hmm. But we will have to get into that next week. But thanks for making Eric unproductive today. Yeah. <laughs> We stood up at the bar for the whole night, and then we went out to the bar <laughs> after. But we did, we did have a lot of fun. Lots we did. of family fun. And I liked, his, I liked how the table said Petrilla family on the table. Well, we all were. Yeah. All were. Yeah. Even Brandon and Amanda, the newest Petrilla yeah. family members. I mean, not Brandon. But not Brandon, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Thought that was funny. What? What was funny? What? <laughs> You're losing it. I am kind of losing it. I thought that was funny because, yeah, whatever, because you said fine. Brandon and Amanda, whatever. But, it's, um, it's fine. You're losing it. Subscribe or follow <laughs> us on wherever you listen to your podcast or just go to our website at www.lifewitheric.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for a closer look into my life with Eric. For all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. 
Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Sorry, I had to swallow. What happened? <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you. I talk to you all night long now. Oh, boy. Will you listen? What? <laughs>